Yes, what happened in the second quarter is, of course, a confluence of two major things. The global environment, the energy environment was already turning to be much more, turning into a headwind for Germany. However, the reopening from the winter wave of the pandemic provided a tailwind for the services sector. So on balance, still slight growth. But now Germany is probably in a recession. These indicators such as the PMI and the German EFO today will probably uh, confirm that we do see that Germany, highly dependent on Russian gas, is paying a high price for its dependence on Russian gas. Consumers are being squeezed. And unlike southern Germany, where summer tourism plays a major role and probably is in countries such as Greece and Spain contributing over the summer still to good growth, Germany probably is already in an economic contraction that will likely worsen significantly over the winter before then eventually come spring, it will be over. Mm. So your base case is that by the spring, the contraction will be over. Is that what you're saying? Yes, this is pretty much a winter recession. Unfortunately for Germany, it will be a fairly deep winter recession in the sense that we expect GDP peak to trough a decline for Germany of 2.5 percentage points. Most of that happening in the fourth quarter of this year, first quarter of next year, with if I look at where natural gas prices are now on and what additional pain they may signal for consumers and companies, the risk to this call is clearly that the recession could be deeper than the number I've just mentioned. Uh, Holger, um, we all understand, I think, that the German business model is highly geared to exporting to other countries here. And whilst obviously there's an impact from the Russian energy shortage for the production side of the economy, when it comes to who it sells to, China is, of course, much more important than Russia as an export destination. Um, how concerned are you that this continuing slow growth in China is going to be negative for Germany through well into 2023? Russia is a negligible export market for Germany. China is a big one just behind the US. And indeed, the U.S. probably falling into a shallow recession next year as the Fed st is stepping on the brakes and China, well, not getting up very much. All that is a negative environment. Having said that, relative to the scale of the squeeze on domestic consumers, these are second rate problems. What they probably mean is that the recession is a little deeper than it otherwise would have been, and that if the U.S. stays in recession, say, through the summer of next year, that the rebound from the winter recession will initially be a bit halting. But these are not the big issues. Remember, we still have a lot of order books. Indicators such as the PMI suggest that incoming orders are falling, but order books in industry are still full because, well, we were having all these supply chain problems. So the major squeeze is on the domestic or the, the European side, largely consumers, and less so on the export and on the export side this time, the German side.